As mentioned in the previous lesson, the human cell is made up of smaller structures or compartments called organelles. So what are these smaller structures or compartments? Why do we need them? Given the already small size of the cell, can Mother Nature make things simple and have all these small compartments collapse into one big compartment? Hmm. To explain this, let's look at the human body. Similar to the cell, the human body is also compartmentalized into various organs, with each organ playing a specific function to ensure the survival of its host. The heart beats to circulate blood throughout the body, the lungs expand to fill its chamber with air, and the kidney filter waste products to keep the blood clean. Each organ performs a specialized function. The heart is unable to do what the kidney does, and the kidney is unable to do what the lung does. Likewise, each organelle in the cell performs a specialized function within the cell. No organelle can replace the function of another organelle. Hence, compartmentalization allows the specialization of functions by each organelle, with every organelle performing its own specific function supporting the cell's survival. In order to carry out certain functions, optimum conditions within the organelle microenvironment have to be met. Using the apartment as an analogy, if you are using your bedroom to study, you expect it to be calm and quiet, have a sturdy study table, and maybe a cushioned chair so you can study comfortably and in peace. If you are using your bedroom for a workout, you would probably blast the room with loud music and work out to the strong beat of the music. Hence, compartmentalization allows the creation of a specific microenvironment where a specific activity can be carried out within the boundaries of that compartment. Also, by consolidating a specific activity within a specific compartment, it confines a certain activity to the specific location within the apartment. For example, the two bedrooms are positioned here, the kitchen and porch positioned here, and so on. So having a fixed location would allow the ease of locating a certain compartment or activity within the apartment. Finally, with compartmentalization, it also creates higher efficiency where all activities can take place concurrently with no disruption. A place to study, a place to exercise, a place to dine, and a place just to relax all carried out at the same time. So, as you can see by now, the cell contains many organelles residing in their own unique position, each isolated from the other. Just like having walls to an apartment and walls that compartmentalize each room, the cell is compartmentalized into different organelles through membranes, which will be covered in greater detail in another topic. In conclusion, even though the cell is small, a high level of organization is still observed within the microscopic volume of the cell, where numerous compartments, each performing a specific function, each having a specific microenvironment, located at a specific position of the cell, work together concurrently. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at each of these microcompartments called organelles.